tends to start games well, does Kyle Waitman. So watch, watch out for him to be dangerous early. And that was an awkward kick, speaking of danger. And Johnston lays a really good tackle. And they'll force a stoppage inside their forward 50. Did bustling and no favours. Stepping through there was Hunt. Blazing into the middle of the ground. Karmas at the back. Caught one high. No. Play on, says the umpire. And now he might penalise him. He will. Holding the ball at centre half back. He being out in the uh, in the grandstand amongst the fans that have braved the elements here today, ducking into that tackle, and the umpire sees it that way and pays holding the ball. Been a shining light for Coburg this year as Aaron Clark is in the top ten goal kickers in the VFL in a side that averages just over seven goals a game. So a pretty decent effort from the young man. Kick two of nine last week against Southport. Kicks this from about 48. It's going to drop a couple of metres short. And they oh. soccer it through for a goal by Waitman, the opportunist. Didn't worry about taking possession. Just slid it, the left boot at it. Kicking to a contest. Jumping very early there was Bella. Bustlinger left it behind. Now they'll go off the ground and they've released the player into a little bit of space here in Waitman. Gathers, turns quickly. Clever kick on the outside of the boot. That's excellent oh, wow. play by Waitman. Yeah. And lands on the chest of Simpson. Cross and taking some nice intercept marks. Got some good things forward oh, as well. It's a really awkward kick there from Bruce, who's not the first time today. He's made a couple of errors, and now they're going to get a shot at goal. It's from about 45. They need one just to steady, and that's close, and it's home. They get their second, and they stay in touch. 2-3-15, puts go 4 2 26. The boundary throw and ends up landing at the feet of the Ruckman. The kick out of there by Darcy. Good body work from Simpson. Keeps that ball alive. They'll now hook the ball back towards the top of the square. Good contest. They'll squeeze oh. the kick towards goal and they've got it home. Throwing it on the boot in that pack. Good to have a Coburg player hit double figures. Nelson Gentile with nine. That's a risky oh, kick out. Wow. Can't blame Bruce for that one. He was the res going to be the recipient. And Waitman read it beautifully and can put them in front. So Waitman behind the kick, 30 metres out. Slight angle, kicks the goal and Coburg leads. Well, they're up and about, aren't they, Coburg? Gave it back to Hunt to Sweet, back to Bruce, and it's turned over once more. Rigoni into the middle of the ground. Slightly awkward ball, but McKenzie trapped it well. Bet it wide of the Boucher. He'll go further afield. Johnson back on the ground, who kicked one about 10 minutes ago. Thumps it long to the top of the goal square. One on ones, and it bounces through. I'm not sure that was touched. I think he's got it. It's a goal to Coburn. Unusual from that far away. Sets it up inside. Going up unopposed there is Bella. He'll go long. Clark and Johnson both there. Clark in front position. Then later follow-up tackle. Can they get a kick away here? It's almost high contact. And now the umpire will eventually pay it. Well, certainly hasn't been their worst. Directly in front. 25, 30 metres out. It should be a goal. And it is. And still alive. Can set them up again. Chips to McKenzie who marks. Goes to the pocket. Clark used the body and marks. And gets the all clear. He's competing against a seasoned veteran in Josh Bruce there and, and manhandles him and takes the mark. So. His team needs the goal. And he's got it. Oh. Two in a row. Well done to Arthur Jones for making that a 50-50 contest. Will it be to Darcy? Long forward, good work there. Mark taking this Beasley and, and Nolan have been pretty solid. Sullivan, that's a risky kick as well. That'll be turned over. Boucher's got a fair bit of space here. They've got two players in the clear. Boucher will cut back inboard. Finds Gillard. Just outside 50. Is there time at the 31 and a half minute mark? Radzki pushing down towards the square. Ball is sat up. Johnson and Clark there. Front and centre. Stepping through. Outside of the boot. And they've got the goal. McKenzie. Give them 
themselves a bit of momentum. We saw last week, as you mentioned, they were in front at three-quarter time, and then it got away from them. Dintino Sante goes long. Will he get a shepherd on the line? He does, and it's a goal. And that's the perfect start if you're looking to stay in the contest. Almost caught that Josh Bruce spoil. Karmas taps that one down. And that'll be a free kick for holding the ball. So Coburg will get a chance to peg one late here and looking for their tents. 40 to 45 metres out, 45 degree angle. On the approach, kicks it okay. And goals. So they hit double figures. Second goal for Gillard, third multiple in that Coburg lineup. Margin back to 36, 10, 10, 70. For the last quarter, very dark. Here at Williamstown, there is Sullivan, who wanted a 17th clearance. Johnson just took it out of the contest and kicked a beauty. Great goal.